My life changed almost two years ago when I was diagnosed with cancer. I'm 73 years old. I'll be 74 in June. I volunteered for the draft. And so I went in in November 67. I went to Vietnam in June of 1968. I operated in along the DMZ, you know, regularly. And that was at that 1968-69. It was, I assume, the most heavily defoliated patch of real estate on the planet. It wasn't that it was a big fact, you know, oh my gosh, this has been defoliated. I mean, it was just part of the landscape. So if you have bladder cancer, if you're out there walking in the, you know, in the countryside, sleeping in it, although nobody slept, the point is if you lived in the environment to some extent, it occurs to you that if you're in a heavily defoliated area sometimes, you know, there might be a connection. Could this be a factor? And they said, no, it's a different kind of cancer. But I said, wait a minute, if I had it in my prostate, it would uh, be considered under the umbrella uh, of Agent Orange. You know, and that's like, what, a muscle thickness away? They're sort of maneuvering me toward the end of the toolbox, saying, well, we're trying these things. And it, so I may be looking at, at losing my bladder in the next, you know, six months, a year, unless the, this next round is more promising. So it's not an optimistic prognosis, you know what I mean?